Revelation 1411, from the 9th of May 1940. Cult. Communities. Without external coercion, no congregation can be formed whose only endeavor is to gain recognition before the people. For where this intention is the basic thought, the simple striving to serve God, will have little effect, for this will remain without impression on fellow men, whereas everything outwardly recognizable is effective towards fellow men and is therefore regarded as solely valuable and successful. The more, however, man gives to outward appearances, the more he submits to the demands of those who want to be leaders and have made it their business to find followers for their cult, for their external worship. And this is of greatest disadvantage for the human soul. External service has no value for it, the human being can comply with every regulation issued by man, this will not be beneficial for the maturity of his soul in the least because there is a certain compulsion underlying every fulfillment. But what is demanded of people, only makes the way to God more difficult. Human commandments are fulfilled first, but God is sought too little. And therefore a circle whose association is externally recognizable, will never quite reach the goal. It will need a long time before it understands the essence of the Godhead because it will always be anxious to appear publicly. It will not seek connection with those who remain far away from their community, but avoid them or always emphasize its external efforts, for it seeks to gain recognition and to show off to those who do not agree with him. He who believes himself to be knowledgeable, must also stand among his fellow men he must not want to limit his knowledge by the close association of individuals and separate himself, thus wanting to found a community which encloses only those who join in the same knowledge. Rather, he must willingly pass on what he believes he possesses, he must seek to enlarge this community, but quietly and without ostentation, without external forms and without coercion. He must only serve but only his fellow man, and not consider symbolic activities as valuable and ultimately consider these activities as a sign of belonging to that community. Everything external is only a shell, but the core should be desired, people should unite to serve God and their neighbor. Then they will also have the right knowledge and work beneficially, even though no outwardly recognizable bond binds them together. They only have to be of the same spirit, recognize themselves and their unworthiness, try to ennoble their nature and help their fellow man to the best of their ability. Then it is in truth the congregation that serves the Lord and lives and acts according to his will. Amen.